guys, I'm in Walmart and I'm here to buy some stuff for my trip after a game we won. Yay! So, cart is getting semi full. guys so it is a few days later and i'm going to be doing a haul on what i got from walmart and also i'm going to be doing a haul of some luggage that i bought off from amazon from this trip so along with the carry-on that we can bring for the plane we can also bring a personal item bag and this dimensions is 18 by 14 by 8 i'm pretty sure and for the past week me and my mom it's scouring Amazon for this personal item backpack and there is so many of these on Amazon guys like so many there were like a lot of features to these bags like there's like an anti-theft pocket that we really wanted and like uh um like a charging port and also just like a lot of pockets and sleeves and stuff like that so there was like a lot of specific things that we wanted and we were able to find a backpack that had the stuff that we wanted so it just arrived today it is right here um it literally just came in the mail like 20 minutes ago and i've just been trying to figure out the perfect angle for this video because i didn't have this set up yet so okay i think my echo was talking even though i didn't say anything anyways so i'm gonna go ahead and open this up and this is my first time literally seeing this so i'm very excited Okay, actually like, it's not really heavy, but it does have a bit of weight to it. It's not just some like, floppy mess, like it's not like that. So for this travel backpack, it also comes with packing cubes, which is one of the reasons why we bought it. So there is, so there is like no need for us to buy packing cubes for it, which is good. And also it comes with this dust bag so it comes like in this felt well like not really felt but in a protective bag which is good and this is the backpack i got in the color pink so it could match my suitcase which is back there i'll have to like see if the color even matches because i'm not completely sure it's very nice i love it it's very nice it has like gold accents gold zippers even the logo's gold which I appreciate. It's very cute. I love this a lot. It's very pretty. And the material is... I don't know. Like, you guys can hear, like, the scratch marks. I don't know. Um, It's definitely, like, a waterproof material. It's not, like, fabric. But, I don't know. It's hard to explain. Like, it's a good material either way that's, like, waterproof. So, there's a lot of pockets in the front, which you guys can see, which I appreciate a lot. Because I wanted... A lot of pockets and stuff in this backpack. So there's like a zipper here. There's one up here. And it goes like all the way down here. And then there's one on the side. And then there's a zipper up top. It's like for your electronics. This is for you to put your computer and laptop and then like anything else you need in there as well it's very deep like I could put my whole hand in here so now to go in the inside of the bag so it opens like a suitcase so this is how it opens and the packing cubes are inside here they are but we're gonna go over these later these right here these is what was really important for me this is like a wet Kind of section it's like a dry section and also the like put your clothes at it and also it has the buckle which my mom wanted and also there is this bag in here where you could put your shoes at which is at the bottom and this is the little port where the um wire comes out and also there is a water bottle holder I could also use this for my phone. So like while my phone's charging, I put it in here and there's like, no worry if my phone slip out or something. So, and now we're gonna go to the back. This is very necessary as well. The strap that goes over like the suitcase handle. And this is the anti set pocket, sorry guys. And it goes in all the way out here. And these is where the straps are. 
because you can also hide the straps, which is also something else that me and my mom wanted. So you can hide the straps. Also, there was a way where you could expand the bag, which can make it bigger by like five inches, which this is what it is. So you can make it bigger in width. So this zipper, I just zipped it all the way around and I just made it bigger by like five inches in width. Like now it's super big. And also there is a handle where you can hold it like this as well. And you can buckle the uh, straps. And now it is just like a backpack and there's also a chest strap as well. So this came with six packing cues which I appreciate. So it's in this one really big packing tube here. So there's this one that says like laundry pouch and then a smaller one which you can use for like to toiletries if you want to. And then it's like the mesh packing cubes. This one right here, this one, the really big one. Okay, and also along with that backpack, my mom also bought me like a little jewelry case for me to bring my jewelry when I leave. And also a luggage tag, which is in this bag right here. So this is the luggage tag right here, it's super cute. And this is also the jewelry case. So we're gonna take a look at this. I also got it in the color pink as well. Like, pink is my favorite color, guys, if you cannot tell. <sighs> Well, um, so this is the jewelry case right here. It's very cute. I'm gonna adjust it some. So it's in the color pink. It looks a bit off pink because of my um lamp, but it's like a really nice shade of pink. It's like practically the same as my luggage tag. Actually, I think this one matches my bag more in the shade pink. Yeah, but they're all like slightly different shades of pink. But either way, it's in the color of pink. It's a very nice travel size. It has the initial M and it has like a floral print on it, which I thought was really cute. Well, you can put your rings and other stuff. And also you can put like earrings and this little mirror. You can kind of see behind me, but um. And also you can pull it down and then you can hang like more jewelry and other stuff. So this will be very nice. Definitely will be needed for like any sort of travels and stuff like that and also you can take this little organizer out and then like if you wanted to you could take it out and then it's empty so yeah that is stuff we got from amazon and we're still not done yet guys we're still not done so now we're gonna go over the things that i got from walmart so here's the bag right here guys so the first thing that i got is these mini pack of loofahs right here and also before i even show you guys any more stuff so there's like specific things that the airlines have, like specific rules for the airlines so like any liquids any kind of like toiletries it has to be in the 3.4 ounce also i got these cotton rounds i also got these two pack of toothbrushes also here is the makeup remover also i got a mini pack of tissues to bring also i got these like wet wipes one these are flushable and these are also I got me some sanitizer because sanitizer is always needed guys always needed also i got a little mini tube of vaseline the camera does not want to adjust and i do Ooh, the camera does not want to adjust today but a little mini tube of Vaseline. So I got some, like a mini bottle of baby oil because I'm like kind of stressing out of how much moisturizer I'm gonna have to bring with me, like lotions, because even lotions and perfumes has to apply by the 3.0 ounce rule. So I'm gonna make sure I can bring as much moisturizer as I can. So like I usually use baby oil after my shower. So bringing that, I'm bringing lotion, my scented lotions in that size ounce. So I'm just making sure that I'm just not gonna run out of like lotion cause I had to go buy those little small bottles. Also, I got two of these Jergen lotion bottles. Also, I got these two bottles of body wash. Also, I got these Q-tips, which will be good for, you know, removing my makeup and cleaning my ears. Also, I got this um, mini bottle of daily moisturizing lotion. It's in three ounces. So this will be good to bring with me for my skincare. And also, I didn't actually buy this, but I just had this in my room because, like, a while ago, um, 
when we went to the doctor they gave us like a bunch of free samples of like skincare products and I just happened to save this one and it was three ounces and this is actually a skincare facial wash that I was using by CeraVe also I got Tylenol and also I got uh, Advil so it's just like more pain medicine and also I got some blush because I'm going to be using this for my makeup as well when I'm there but ooh, I'll see you guys when I start parking bye So today it is January 15th and it is about 1.15 and I'm going to be going over the packing list uh, well that our coach just gave us and as you guys see I have like all my clothes already out like I'm just going to be like telling you guys like what they told us to pack. So before we even get into the list I'm going to give you guys the details of like our flights and all that good stuff. So we leave on Friday the 19th. We're going to head to the airport, which is like an hour drive. So, and then we get to the airport and then we're going to fly to Dallas, which is about a two hour flight. Then when we get there, we're going to go to the mall. Um, and then we're going to eat there at the mall as well. And then shop, whatever. And then we're going to go back to the hotel. And then I'm pretty sure we do practice at night and a bunch of stuff. But on Saturday, we perform in the morning, like 9.30 in the morning, something ridiculous like that, which is crazy. But we also go to the aquarium that day as well, which will be really fun. And then on Sunday, we perform again. And then Monday morning, we leave. And around the afternoon, Monday, we'll be back home here. All right, so now that I kind of gave you guys like a rough overview of what will be going on, um, now we're going to go over the list. So, all athletes can bring one carry-on bag and one personal item. So, I do have my suitcase here. Also, my carry-on bag that I already showed you guys earlier. Um, so, for the uniform items, we have to bring our competition uniform. No, duh. Our green socks, our gold socks, our um, comp shoes, which is just our cheer shoes. Also, our comp bow, our warm-up pants and also our warm-up jacket and also a nude or white bra so like nothing colorful like a white bra or uniform like that'd be crazy so yeah that's for like our uniform items and what we're wearing for the flight on friday is our nca shirt also a pair of black leggings our warm-up jacket on the black side it's like a um like you can kind of switch the jacket around you can like I don't know. I'd have to show you guys. It's kind of hard to explain. And then also any shoe that we can wear. I think I'm going to bring like these Nikes that my brother kind of passed down to me because his feet are like bigger than mine by a bit. So I can kind of fit his older shoes. I'm probably going to bring that because it's like the most comfortable shoe that I have. And then our Saturday outfit when we go to the aquarium is our competition shirt, jeans or black leggings. I'm going to be wearing some jeans. So I bought some like boot cut jeans with me. And then like the miscellaneous, like extra stuff we can bring. Oh, excuse me. And extra stuff we can bring like chargers, headphones, water bottle, wallet, purse, phone, school or state ID, underwear, extra socks, pajamas, and spending money in an advise no more than a hundred dollars. So I do have some money that I'm bringing with me. I'm going to be bringing my um, wallet. It's going to be like my first time using my new wallet. So that'd be nice. Also toiletries, which is, you know, like the usual, usual stuff. Toothpaste, toothbrush, razor, hair tools, bobby pins, ties, 
hair gel and spray must be 3.4 ounces or less that's for like any toiletry item hairbrush deodorant makeup bag and then feminine products so yeah that is all for the passing list.